Hi guys and welcome to Daily Scuba News. Scientists at Stanford University in California have transformed a moon jellyfish into a biohydroid robot, which, sorry, biohybrid robot, um, which is able to move through the water almost three times faster than a traditional moon jellyfish. Uh, so the team embedded a microelectronic swim controlling device. Are we just making remote control jellyfish now? Yeah, that's, cool. that's basically the story. I, I don't really know why, but maybe we'll find out later. Um, so yes, yeah, so they embedded a microelectronic swim controlling device which generates pulse waves and stimulates muscle contractions. So they reported that little external power was required and a relatively modest increase in the amount of metabolic effect needed from the jellyfish. So this hybrid uses little uses as little as a thousand times less external power per mass than any man-made aquatic robot so far devised. So they don't use very much power, um, almost as if evolution has found something very, very efficient. You really wanted to say, what's your, the, the, the Jurassic Park line? I felt like you uh, wanted to say that. Oh, uh, they... Oh, whether they should, whether they no, could. It's too late. Anyway, um, so what does this all oh, mean? What what is the point in this? So, <laughs> so jellyfish propulsion can be artificially dialed up until it hits a kind of sweet spot where you're not tuckering the poor little bugger out, um, but you're you're going as efficient as possible, uh, at which the greatest speed is kind of balanced against the smallest energy output, or at least input as well. So yes, this research does sound a little bit Frank's, Frankensteinian, um, but there is an environmental motive behind it. There is actual reason to their madness. Jellyfish are not only more efficient swimmers than machines, because they've had God knows hundreds of thousands of millions of years of evolution. Thousands, Mark! 6,000 years of, of uh, what is it? Perfect creation. Yes. Um, but uh, yeah, jellyfish are actually capable of self-healing um, and surviving at any depth because they just don't have normal bodies. Um, <laughs> this is going well today. Oh, I, I've got to make something out of this script. Um, so yeah, so they can survive any depth, any temperature, any salinity, any oxygen concentrations in the ocean. They're just this like almost perfect squidgy jelly boys that kind of do their things. And now we're learning how to use them as robots. Um, so yeah, using these hybrid jellyfish to monitor our oceans could be the best bet at getting more accurate results when looking at climate change and rising sea levels. Um, so by this, they're probably going to start adding little sensors onto them and then just like, go deep and then come back. Make them up with Lego bricks. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, researchers believe that these biohybrid jellies are ideal for monitoring the undersea environment in a similar way to tagged animals, um, or that these hybrids could lead to more efficient underwater vehicles. Um, so we're going to start seeing jelly like submarines and boats and stuff. Yeah. All right. But what do you think about creating hybrid jellyfish to help track our waters? All these like cyborg jellyfish just kind of like cruising around. Robocop, Robo jelly. Yeah, he's just got a little antenna sticking out of his head, the poor little thing. <laughs> We're gonna have to change our hand signal to like that for robo jelly. That's an excited jellyfish. <laughs> um, so is this sort of testing a necessary evil to help track climate change? Is there gonna be any kind of bonus to this other than scientists going, yeah, well, we tried that and this happened. Um, let's have a chat about it in the comments below. Also pinned in the comments is the full study so that if you really want to get a more in-depth view, just click on that link and just sort of have a read where they yeah, just talk about what they did to these jellyfish. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching and of course, safe diving. So instead of talking about how male dominated scuba diving is or how attractive divers look in the water, let's talk about how to make scuba diving more fun and inviting to young divers to get them into careers like Shailin and the other polar divers and embrace the snotty world we live in. Yes, it's not the most glamorous 